Hello to all my friends out there. Well, this is afternoon tea with Rhoda. So you might be thinking, Rhoda, didn't you just have a tea party? And I go, yeah, I did, but I was looking around at the tea party issue and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, had a tea party every single day for of her life. And so did Queen Victoria because they loved tea parties and I was thinking, I think, yeah, you know, I love tea parties. Basically, you've got to eat lunch, right? So today I was shopping around and look what I found. Now these are awesome. I bought myself, my son bought me two candles. And so they had these, look how pretty these are. So this one is Fancy Blossom and this one is Herb herb something plant. I'm going to go for this one. They both smell really good. I got these at at um, 99 cent only for $2.99. So these would make awesome gifts if one of you needs one. And it's really nice because there's two wicks. So that's going to give you twice the flame. So that is a nice little gift I bought. Somebody's been getting a lot of gifts and uh, buying herself a lot of gifts. For somebody who's not supposed to be spending any money. But these are minor expenses, you guys. So I hope everyone is being very careful. And uh, even though I've had the vaccination, I'm being very, very careful. Because, you know, anything can happen. And uh, if you live in India, be very, very careful. Remember, the virus has to get from the infected person's lungs into your lungs. So if you wear your mask and you socially distance, that's the best thing you can possibly, possibly do. If you don't have a mask or a scarf, anything, just make sure your mouth and your nose are covered. Okay, so I made some... Oh, I didn't turn my little waterfall on. This is cute. I bought this at 99 cent only to see. Cute. So I wanted to mention something to you guys. This is the watermelon plant. You have to be careful. It, it's perking up. See how the leaves are like a watermelon? So uh, what occurred to me is that Okay, the plants are expensive right now because people are buying their mom's plants and moms are buying themselves plants. But as soon as Mother's Day is over, we can get plants half price. Also, I discovered in the back at Walmart, they have a discount rack for plants. I thought, awesome. Also, I discovered that um, you can buy a fairly large palm tree, you know, indoor or outdoor for $20. So it's not true that that um, that uh, palm trees are very ex or tree trees, indoor trees are very expensive. They're really not that expensive. Uh, not all of them. Some of them are. The artificial ones can be found at thrift stores. I haven't found any yet. So this is black tea, and I'm just having a plain because I made some special treats, and I want to give you guys the recipes. So this is the Litho Alien. I think it's called Alien. Look at my dishes. Nonetheless, it's called Alien because uh, it's not of this world. See, it's like an owl. Um, I sell this kind of stuff. Right now, I'm mostly buying stuff. I'm not selling too much stuff. And, and I mentioned to you, I had to abruptly discontinue my videos because I had a small centipede, a very small one. And so, you know, it was on my plant and my uh, daughter-in-law had one too. So that was creepy. Okay, so here is the picture that someone said was creepy. And it's kind of like a hologram type 
picture. You know, sometimes it looks like it's looking back at you. And so I was telling you guys that I was researching uh, the Salvador Mundi. So it's like my own Salvador Mundi. Except for the day I bought it, I went to the thrift store and I said, how much? And they said, $10. I go, that's too much. They go, well, how much would you be willing to pay? And I said, $5. So they said, okay, take it and, you know, basically be on your way. So that was the rationale behind that. And it can be a little creepy. Um, also, you know, I have my... Um, my Eiffel Tower in the living room and, and there's a shadow and it looks like the uh, window is open and you know I just about jump out of my skin. Okay, so now, okay, now, 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 time for a little tea party. So uh, what I realized is that these tea parties are like the meal I told you about this guy and he was in very bad shape and for lunch he would go to the park and they would give him a sandwich with a small fruit or a small vegetable. But these, these sandwiches are very, um, you know, if you make good sandwiches and uh, you make yourself some tasty scones or some uh, cookies. So um, what I did is I bought bread. Now this is exciting, 50% off at a 99 cent only. So I had good bread. And so this is, I cut this in bars. This is tuna. So that is perfectly acceptable. And the serving size for one person is about one and a half sandwiches. But if you don't eat it all, you know, you can just eat it later. So uh, what I bought is I bought this good um, yellowfin tuna markdown at Walmart. Then for a special treat for Mother's Day, I made um, strawberry scones with uh, lime drizzle. These are very yummy. And I cut them in, I said triangles, but they are diamonds, you know, for dipping in the tea. Because I realized that when you dip your, um, your um, scone in the tea, it tastes so good. I never thought about doing that. I don't know if that's kosher, but it's delicious. You don't need to over, overload your tea your uh, three-tier plate. And these, if you watch out, you can get these at the thrift store, nice ones. Okay, so now all that is in these, these are Scottish scones. This is the best recipe I've ever found and it's, I put it on my Twitter. All it is, is two cups flour, two and one half teaspoons baking powder, three tablespoons sugar, one half teaspoon salt, one quarter cup butter, and I'm looking for the big chubs of butter. We'll go into that. Two eggs. They sell them in boxes of 60 at Walmart. And uh, one half cup buttermilk, and then it says sugar optional. I didn't put sugar because, did I give you a close up? And this is a half a batch. And so what I've been doing, I don't know if the, the drizzle is showing, but it's delicious. What I've been doing is I've been buying fruit when I see it at a good price and like I, I only needed a half a cup and it gives you plenty of strawberries. Yesterday was blueberries. And so for a half a batch, I put um, a half a cup of strawberries in my scones. And I will be making some scones and some other stuff. So all I did is I added the, the strawberries to the scone mix so I mixed all the dry ingredients, flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, and I uh, sifted it good and mixed it good with a whisk. And then I had the egg and I made the buttermilk using, I, it's a half a, a batch, so I used evaporated milk and I had good vinegar. Uh, if you can try to get yourself some of this good vinegar 
and start eating it, it will keep you safe from all kinds of bacteria and germs. That is what Alexander the Great protected his army with. Okay, so then um, I mixed the wet ingredients and I made a well in the middle. And so I basically just carefully wet my dough. I cut the butter into the flour. Uh, what I did is when the uh, butter was frozen, I like shaved it off, you know, uh, of the cube. And then I cut it up and then it was very easy to, uh, you can either use knives or a pastry cutter until it's all worked in, but you wanna keep your uh, butter cold. And then, you know, I baked it at 425, but you have to keep an eye on this stuff. We'll go into that in a minute. So let me give you the, here it is. Well, I'll give you the close. -up. And these are really easy to make, especially when you start getting everything in the stockpile. So then you bake your scones. And as soon as you take them out of the oven, you have mixed up, I mixed up for half a batch, a quarter cup um, powdered sugar, uh, a half a tablespoon of butter that I creamed, and then I just started adding lime juice, and then I brushed that onto the scones. Here's what I had. And this is so good, dipped into your hot tea. Okay, so then what? Well, so that's your strawberry scone with lime drizzle. Then I made some Scottish shortbread. Okay, this is the good stuff, you guys. You have to watch this recipe because it burns very easily. So when you have these really good uh, recipes that are high in sugar and butter, you don't have to eat like a pig because one will satisfy you, especially when you have your nice hot tea. So now here is the Scottish shortbread. So yesterday you got the good thumbprint cookie bread recipe and today the Scottish shortbread and this is the best. Okay, all you need is sugar, uh, flour, cornstarch, salt, butter, and you just, um, you cream your butter into the, um, sugar and then you sift and mix your uh, dry ingredients real well and I buy the cornstarch I will be getting a couple of these so nothing can happen your dry ingredients in and then you chill for a half an hour I am looking for a, um I am looking for a diamond shaped cookie cutter but here is this I will put this one it's right here So get this recipe and write it in your notebooks. So basically, if you could, if you had this, you could get by. And so one of the reasons the Royals live so long is what they eat. And they eat pretty much, this is what it was documented. And it was thousands of, uh, the, it was pictures of their parties. And so, you know, this will do. This is delicious. Okay, now. Okay, so now. Queen Victoria is giving credit for starting the teas. Okay, Queen Victoria was queen of Great Britain and Ireland. I don't know if the king or the queen is still the queen of Ireland. I don't think so. Uh, June 20th, 1837, until her death in 1901. So she was the queen for a long, long time. And she was the one who had the love of tea parties. And the thing about it was, I was thinking, you know, um, it's kind of like these people speak to their people, you know, from the grave. Hey, people, don't starve. Make yourself some sandwiches. Um... The time that she was the queen was known as the Victorian era. Okay, I am very fascinated by her crown. She was a little 
person, a little short, tight person, and she had the cutest little crown. And I don't remember anyone else wearing it. And when I get to England, I'm hoping to see it. During the, the Victorian era, it was a period of industrial, political, scientific, and military change. So her, her, the Victorian uh, era was uh, highly successful. Um, there was great, and there was a great um, expansion of the British Empire. Now we come on to her daughter, I think, unless I have this wrong, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. She hasn't been dead too long. So this is what's so good about Queen Elizabeth now. I mean, she knows everything way back to the Victorian era. Like me, I know everything way back to my grandmother coming across the plains, you know, from Ireland. I know all of that stuff. Okay, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, um, had a tea every single day with her friends. And I thought, well, I can have a tea every single day with my friends, my YouTube friends. And I really appreciate your comments. Okay, she was the last empress of India. And I want to encourage my uh, followers in India. We're going to talk about stockpiling food and keep your food off the ground. Um, I've been having dreams, really nightmares of rain. And you don't want your food getting wet, especially your flour and your grains and things. Okay, and so... There was a, you know, the teas were every single day. Guests were to stop eating when the queen was done eating. So you're not just being supposed to be munching on your cookies. I, I assume you could dip some, I don't know about that. When the queen was done eating, everyone was done eating. So that is a little bit of information on the the queen now i don't know uh if the queen now uh britain is very lucky to have this queen that they've got now and she's pretty old uh they say she will abdicate or else decease and the crown will go to charles okay so now now let's try this tuna it could be tuna egg salad chicken ham tongue uh, i'm not going for tongue I heard tongue is delicious. I'm thinking, yeah, delicious like liver. I'm not saying no, never. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about some of the food. If you kind of stockpile this up when you buy your food, it's really going to help you. Number one, eggs. I mentioned I saw they had 60 eggs at Walmart. Milk. If you stockpile like today when I was making my scones, I have my evaporated milk. So, you know, I could make my vinegar with my, with my, I mean my buttermilk with my vinegar. Tuna or canned fish. Today there was no canned salmon, the big cans except the $8 um, cans. What I think is people are just quietly buying stuff all the time like I am. Okay, now the other thing, and this is not expensive at Walmart, is cottage cheese and yogurt. And so if you have cottage cheese and you have pineapple or canned peaches, that'll do. Or, you know, you can have some uh, bowls of yogurt. Powdered milk, as much as you possibly can acquire. Canned salmon, the big ones. I'm looking for those. One of the best things I make with that is I remove the bones and I pour, I, I uh, cook stewed tomatoes and I cut them with the side of a knife and I pour, you know, to like mince it. And then I pour it on the salmon and the acidic tomatoes cut the fishy taste and I bake to heat it good. And then I make either um, like scallop potatoes, baked potatoes, rice. That is good. 
small canned hams. Try to get those. That's good for your beans or to eat with eggs or ham sandwiches. Corned beef. The corned beef, not the corned beef hash. Um, you know, if we have some kind of food shortage, who knows what happens. You want to have your canned food. Okay, canned fruit. The big ones for a dollar if you can. A uh, dry fruit like raisins. Now you can put raisins and scones. I'm gonna make um, a raisin scone with some um, orange drizzle. So I would make the orange drizzle. I would put the raisins in the scones, and then I would make the orange drizzle with um, powdered sugar, a half a tablespoon of butter, and then you know just add the orange juice and drizzle. Oh, you know that would be good. Frozen vegetables or canned vegetables. Butter, add, pack your freezer, and cereal. So don't let up on the stockpiling. Just buy one or two items at a time. It's really going to help you out. We can't say for sure that everything is okay. Uh, what is kind of uh, worrisome is people might say to themselves, Oh, don't worry. Um, Bi President Biden will just send us a stimulus check. Until the stimulus is in the mail, there's no stimulus check. Okay, cheese, all kinds of cheese. Um, Parmesan cheese, every kind of cheese. Uh, Velveeta cheese, so you can make macaroni and cheese. Lunch meat, so you can have a sandwich. Now, let's dip my strawberry and lime drizzle scone in my tea. I don't know if it's proper to dip, but it sure does taste good. I use Crisco on my pan. I like my stuff. I like my stuff brown on the bottom. Okay, now tea, so you can have something to drink besides water. Pickles and vinegar, lemon and lime. And what I do is I just buy the big bottles of lemon and lime. Dollar Tree. Here's the fig jam. These used to be a dollar, they're a dollar forty-nine. What we're gonna be seeing is inflation. Okay, uh, nuts. The ones in the cans so they don't go rancid. Sugar. During the Depression, they ran low on sugar and meat. So stockpile up on that and oil or shortening. Here's the list. And then I want to make one mention about the Scottish shortbread. This is the good stuff. Okay, now. No, no, no. It says you bake for five minutes at um, one, 450 degrees, then you turn the, the oven down to 350 degrees, but you have to watch them because this says 10 minutes. So I figured this was a big cookie, so I didn't have to watch it as closely. No, I almost burned them all, but they're still good. This is a good stuff. You eat one of these. I put sugar on top. So, you've got high fat or dairy in your food. So you've got the milk and the cream and the butter in your food. And so you eat a little bit and you drink a little tea and you're satisfied. And I think um, the problems with a lot of this food is, is is low quality ingredients. So what we want to do is stockpile the highest quality ingredients and eat the highest quality ingredients now so that if we fall into some kind of hardship, we're going to weather the storm. And also, you know, uh, this, the queen mother being the last empress of India, you know, um, is very scary right now in India. And if, if you're one of my followers in India, 
be very careful. Be very, very careful. Don't let people breathe in your face. Okay, you guys, and stockpile food little by little and keep your food off the ground. Another thing is right now, clean your house as clean as you possibly can and keep yourself as clean as you possibly can because that is gonna keep you uh, safer from germs. And it's best if you do your own cooking. That way you know you wash your hands after you go to the bathroom and stuff. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Afternoon Teas with Rhoda, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.